Welcome back to Overland Florida, everybody. I'm Kevin, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm in Fort Meade, Florida. Uh, the weather's beautiful. It was low 42 degrees last night, and it's going to warm up to about 77, maybe 80 degrees in the direct sun. So it's going to be a beautiful day out here, probably get a sunburn. Um, but I, again, I'm in Fort Meade. I'm at the Florida Flywheelers Antique Engine Club property. They're having their annual tractor show, swap meet, and this is the largest uh, swap meet garage sale in the southeast. Um, it's roughly 100 acres of all kinds of just different vendors and booths set up where people are just selling um, stuff like old antique stuff or like farming equipment, tractor parts and stuff like that. So um, I'm actually going to be looking for vintage um, Coleman stuff, white gas stuff, stoves, lanterns, heaters. Um, Ron, Sarah, Jillian, Goose and I were here last month. Uh, Ron brought a, a crew cab side by side. So we all loaded up in that. We went up and down all the aisles. Tons of... Um, cast iron pots pans griswold wagner old stuff new stuff and again we saw some good deals on uh, some coleman stuff i ended up getting a, a white gas lantern in really good condition um i want to say it was like a 67 i don't remember the year i uh, got that for 20 bucks uh ron got probably the best deal of the day he got a brand new uh, brand new old it's uh we want to say like early 60s um coleman uh heater i think he paid like 30 bucks for that so um I'm really looking for another heater like Ron got. That's a really good heater on white gas that'll run for like eight to 10 hours, you know, no smell. And uh, you can use it inside tents and small confined spaces. But uh, so we're gonna start off the day like that. I'm gonna show you guys all the cast iron that's here, any Coleman stuff I come across, and we're just gonna spend the day picking here. Probably stay until about four o'clock in the afternoon, head home. So hopefully there's still some deals to be had. So I'm looking for Coleman vintage stuff and I haven't really seen that much. <clears throat> Ron and I were here last month and we saw a whole bunch that I passed on, but there's a little Coleman cooler. Look at all this cast iron. I don't think you can go through a single booth that does not have stacks of cast iron here.
Ron, Sarah, Jillian, Goose, and I were here last month, and uh, we found some good deals on some vintage Coleman stuff. This guy at this booth had like four of these. He's got one left. We didn't buy from him. They were kind of expensive. He wanted like 85 bucks. We found Ron, basically a brand spanking new one for, I think we offered him 30 bucks and they took it at another booth. So I'm gonna see if I can find a nice white gas heater um, for myself, but haven't uh, seen too many uh, this time. Fifty bucks. That one's rusted out. The one without the price tag. Doesn't even hold fuel. This one's actually in really good shape. Hundred bucks. Last time uh, Ron and I were here, I bought. We bought two of them for twenty bucks. The green ones. There is a ton of Wagner and Griswold here. Wagner, Wagner. This one's kind of cool. Griswold. Wagner. Old Lodge, more Lodge, Lodge, whatever you want, 10 bucks. My parents used to have one of these when we were kids, and this is what we keep our firewood in, in the house. How many of you want to make uh, cat little cookies or cat uh, cornbread? Actually, I think two years ago, I actually uh, bought one of these for Ron. He's actually used it a few times in his YouTube videos. This bus right here is where I bought my uh, Coleman Lantern last month. Are you setting up this weekend? Okay. Thousand dollars for this one, it's 14 inches. This is the booth um, Ron and I stopped at last time, actually last month, but he didn't have nearly this much Coleman lanterns. Lanterns, dual fuel stove, some newer ones. There's the heater. This is the heater that Ron bought, and uh, I'm going to try to buy one this trip. These things work so well, really fuel efficient on the white gas. Looks like he's got three of them. Might be more right over there. So I'm gonna see how much he wants. I think last time for the ones in the box that were brand new, we wanted like 90 bucks. Ron bought his for 30 bucks at a different booth, but I haven't seen any all day.
These ones are missing the globes unless they're in the box. This is a brand new one. Super clean. Alright, I'm gonna see how much she wants for the heaters. So I purposely did not bring a side-by-side -side or borrow one because I would buy less stuff this way. So I ended up finding Coleman uh, heater, 35 bucks. So for the ones the guy had in the box, he wanted $75, which is a hell of a lot of money for these. Um, this one is new, but really not in the box and uh, did 35. For people that don't know, these things work wonders. If you don't have electricity, you don't have a lot of firewood, you can put this inside of a tent, it's safe. Put it inside of an awning room or something and it'll keep warm for, um, I think the white gas, this thing will last a little over eight hours, which is pretty impressive. Ron and David, that's the setup you need right there. I can get some cheap one over there, you know? All right, so $150 for this yeah, setup. Yeah, $150 for everything, yep, as All you right. see it. $19.66 for $30. Seems to be in really good condition compared to the other ones that people are asking 55 bucks for. literally over a hundred acres of rows upon rows upon rows. So those last tractors I just showed you were my friend Kevin's. Uh, he comes down here once a month and does the uh, tractor pulls. So he's got quite a collection. I purposely brought the FJ Cruiser so I wouldn't have a truck bed to buy anything big. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to come out here with Ron and I and go pick, uh, we come out here twice, maybe three times a year. They have really big shows with swap meets. The February show is the largest swap meet of the year. Um, so this is the one you wanted to have gone to. Um, but if you guys are interested, you want to come out here, look through junk with us, look for old cast iron, some antique camping stuff. Um, just let me know in the comments, hit me up on Instagram and uh, we're going to go to the next couple shows. I think there's one in November, but the swap, the, uh, swap meet probably isn't going to be as big.